Don't mean that as I'm not hitting on you or anything like that. I just right. want to give you guys props. <laughs> All right. Our show topic tonight, Soulmates. You hey, let the music play in the background. I want to talk a little music. I want to be like a real radio yeah. person. For one. Oh, yeah, yeah for make us forever. Oh, okay. Soulmates. Nice. Reality or fantasy? Mm. Do you believe in soulmates? Are you with your soulmate? And if not, why not? Give us a call. 877. <laughs> <laughs> it's 2106. It's 106. <laughs> <laughs> I got that yeah. shit. Give us a call. 877. <laughs> Two one zero six one zero six. It's the Claudia George and the Pigeons. <laughs> <laughs> I, I really mission tried. incomplete. <laughs> I, I tried. Our topic tonight: soulmates. So give us a call. I already gave the number. But before we get started, in the news, we got to mention this before we get started on the topic. It has nothing to do with the topic, but uh, there, there was a death this uh, past week. Mm-hmm. David Carradine. Yeah. Derry Car- Carradine. 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 I don't know yes. what. Kill Bill himself. Carradine. 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 Oh, that's the one? Kill Bill. Oh, yes. Kill Bill? Oh, yes. so, so what happened? It was a little sexual asphyxiation? Yes, it is a sexual act gone wrong. Autoerotic asphyxia. So allegedly. Allegedly. So yes. exactly, what does that mean? Like, what happened allegedly? Well, uh, according to Thailand uh, news people. <laughs> <laughs> of course she would know this. Um, <laughs> yeah. Is it because of the Asian thing? Oh, uh, of course. Kiss it's all you, bro. It. <laughs> okay. Um, according to the Thailand officials, um, you know, they found him hanging in his closet, bound, uh, hands, feet, penis, uh, bound, um, basically the result of autoerotic asphyxiation. So exactly that, that means he gets off by... Yes, by cutting off his oxygen supply. What's wrong with that? Huh? No, nothing's wrong. <laughs> nothing's wrong. As you can see, if you go a little too far, <laughs> you wind up dead. See, <laughs> I always joke about being choked mm-hmm, mm-hmm. in a sexual manner. I should teach you right here. Right. Slow your roll. No, but... You don't use ropes. You just use your hands. Mm, and that's, mm. so, you, you know, you can't. It's got to be, like, kind of borderline, like, just enough. Uh, just Wait, I mean, sure? just, they found him? No, where was the girl? This, please. Yeah, where, where was the girl? Shout out to my weekend in Vegas. Uh, Phoenix a couple weeks ago. Um, <laughs> that's so funny. You think there's females involved. <laughs> yeah, no, so, so he died by trying to get off. By himself? Exactly. He literally was dying to bust well, the nut. Someone no, had yeah, to no, tie him up. His hands were bound. Someone had to tie him up. Someone had to tie him up. Was there rope around the penis? Everything was bound. Bound. What? Oh. Yeah. So somebody left once he stopped breathing. Mm-hmm. See, he went a little too somebody far. Bad. I would have stopped at the throat. Like I would have. Mm-hmm. Somebody literally killed Bill. No joke. Oh, he wow. <laughs> Allegedly, serious. that was mean for him. Oh, but it's so, all true. right. From the, from uh, tying your dick up to uh, soulmates. Let's get back on the topic. Yeah! All right. Wow. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right. So um, soulmates. This is something that we talk about a lot and. You know, there's six billion people in the world. Is it possible to just have that one soulmate? If so, it's most it's impossible pretty much to find them, right? Mm-hmm. I think. Not are you meant to soulmate? be? I, I disagree. Yeah, uh, uh, me too. Uh, you disagree, Shelly? Oh, well, yeah. That's good. I think if it's meant to be, it's gonna happen regardless. If they live ten thousand miles away from me, you don't know. Mm-hmm. It's gonna happen. It's yeah. gonna happen. But Southwest yeah. doesn't fly. To <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, you can meet them online. You can meet them at the store. You can meet them anywhere. I don't know. Like you're on vacation. Yeah, I like to believe in a soulmate, but that, isn't that kind of sad that there's supposed to be just one soul that's meant for you? Imagine mm-hmm. how many people will never get to that person. I, I don't mean, think there's only one. The ideology yeah. becomes no. personal. It, it, it comes from the the idea that God made man and woman uh, a mirror of them of themselves, so that somewhere out there there is a person that is your mirror. They're exactly a reflection of you, but more or less like the opposite of you. That's right. making you their soulmate. Something that I believe you. in it exactly mm-hmm. because mm-hmm. I feel like if you believe in fate, if you believe that everything happens for a reason and destiny, then um, your soulmate is out there. I personally feel like mm-hmm. I found myself. Floral Santiago. Oh, what? Oh, well. Oh, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> no, I do seriously. I, I'm the person that I'm with now. Like we went through a lot to get to where we are, but it's definitely worth it. And I feel like I've yeah, to wait from the graduate high school. <laughs> you know, right. Right. how we'll much do a lot of shit, but he, not much, not okay. much. He's you know he's he's over thirty. He's good. Oh, oh, wow, wow, breaking news. Good, yeah. Shocked. But yeah, I mean, and you say like, what if the person you know is way in another country, or whatever, and that's my soulmate? How do I get to him? And I feel like. We are propelled by our choices, and there is definitely a little voice in every person's head that is telling them uh, what they should do, and whether or not you choose to listen is on you. That's why you may not find that person or not, but I feel like there are persons out there. Or that, you want to bypass them. That little, exactly. That little right. voice in the head, I have that voice, but my voice is like Ashton Kutcher. It'd be punking me all the time. You don't act on that voice. It, it tells me to do it. I do it. Then it's like, psych, he's gay, or psych, he's married, psych, he's 23. 
three. Psyche's broke. <laughs> I think you should not listen well, to your little voice when you're drinking wine and no dose. Exactly. <laughs> I think it does not Hello. work for you like that. <laughs> Thank you. You have to have a clear conscience to hear that. Flora, how do you feel about soulmates? I believe I, I have a soulmate. My soulmate's married, though. <laughs> but I think he's the one. <laughs> yeah. And he can very well just not be listening, right? Hey. No, he, he, he's probably listening. Um, he was the, the man that I put through college and everything. And oh. That dude. This, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. And uh, oh. he's, been married for, um, he's been married for seven years. No, and, no. Um, you know, we still communicate with each other through Facebook. And, you know, till this day, you know, he does tells know? me. Um, I'm going to say know. no. <laughs> I'm going to say, yeah, I, I, I don't think she does know. Because um, oh. yeah, I don't call him or anything like that. Again, we, we correspond just through Facebook. Yeah. That's so kind of How does yeah. it make you feel knowing that your soulmate is married to someone else? Are you sad? Like, do you go to bed, like, sad thinking about it? Yeah, or? I was about to just shed a tear right now. Um, <laughs> you should have oh. been great waiting for us. <laughs> but let's talk about it more. Let's wait, wait, it look, more. wait, look. Oh, stop. <laughs> now, look. All stared at me. This, no. was, this was like the total love of my life. Your soulmate. Cry. The one guy for you. It'll help us get on TV. No, y'all not going to get. Wait a second. Do you think he's your soulmate? Or you just you know him? No, I think he's my soulmate. Absolutely. But, okay, does so he feel that way? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. We're so yeah. close. Yeah. Yeah. He does. Almost. So this, I mean, you know. So then, why doesn't he? Because I personally feel like I would leave the person I'm with if I found my soulmate in someone else. Mm. I think that you know it's worth it mm-hmm. to leave whatever an unhappy relationship. Mm-hmm. And I think soulmate. you're blocking yourself from your real soulmate, especially well, by holding out for him. And he's been married for seven years. Right. And yeah. prior to this, now you know we were engaged to be married. And what happened? Well, mm-hmm. he couldn't stop cheating on me so you think your soulmate would be someone that would cheat on you well no i mean but who thinks that you know any person that they're you know with is going to cheat on him i mean I don't we, all, we all you know yeah i mean we, i don't no. think we think that shelly you know? I, I, so I don't think the person you're with is going to cheat on you if they're in yeah. love with you and if that's supposed to be your soulmate i don't think that's true right well i mean and so according to what you think is cheating though if you're talking about physically on the phone whatever but yeah. I, I i don't believe my husband would ever do that personally mm. do you think your husband is your soulmate yeah, I do. You do, and I don't feel. And I, every guy I've dated before him, I've always thought guys were all cheaters. I'm like cheater, cheater, cheater. And I mm-hmm. met him, and okay. he's really different. Mm-hmm. And that's you guys said you said as soon as you met him, you knew. I knew. Yeah. yeah. Well, as soon as I met mine, I knew. But I mean, again, we were different people. We were very young. Does he we say together. the same thing, or do you say he's a soulmate? He doesn't. No, that because I'm his soulmate. Because I have a few guys out there yeah. that I think of my soulmates, <laughs> no, and they so- ain't call me back. Nigga. <laughs> <laughs> text me back when I text you, soulmate. You know who you are. Oh, so no, he, he oh. definitely <laughs> thinks that I am the one. Venting. Yeah, he thinks. You're but the I. Does he say he'll why doesn't he leave his wife? I don't know. You don't know. you being married. I mean, let's say you know. Uh, if I really felt if you found your soulmate, you weren't married to him, but you found your soulmate and you wanted to be with him, you would leave your husband. If I felt like I was, if my husband was my soulmate and I found somebody else and we both felt that we were both each other's soulmates, mm-hmm. yeah, I wouldn't stay in an unhappy marriage. It doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. Damn, I need something. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it doesn't make sense. Like, why, why stay unhappy? It's like, you should be happy. It's like, the older you get, you get married. Why should you be miserable for those last couple of years? Not a couple of years, well, but well, well. for, you know, I just don't. I mean, if there's kids mm-hmm. involved, I mean, yeah, oh, that's Well, different. yeah, they have, a, they have a daughter. I mean, I could yeah. see that, but it's also not fair for the child to see two parents growing up if they're mm-hmm. fighting all the time. You know what I think right. I see guys using a lot? I see guys using throwing around that soulmate term to uh-huh. get girls when they have wives. Like, yeah, I have yeah. a friend of mine that's mm-hmm. like, you're my soulmate. I'm just with her for the kids. Yes. But really, yeah. you're the they're one. Lying. You're my soulmate. And they just do that to keep you on the hook because it lying. sounds so romantic. Thank mm-hmm. you. So, mm-hmm. you know. Using you as leverage to see if that girl will be there after they say, I want to leave her. Don't do not do that, lady. We have Maybe. a caller who has a book out. We'd love to get him on the Fox on one day, but we can't afford to fly you out. So, you have to fly out here. Spirit Airlines. Uh, Ace Reed from New Jersey, welcome Ace to the show. Reed. We know you have something deep to say. What's going on, ladies? How you doing? Hey, hey, hey. Ace Reed. I love my pigeons. I miss y'all so much. Aww. Aww. Thank you. The coop misses you, too. <laughs> well, don't worry, Chloe. See, that's what I'm trying to get that get that date arranged early so I can start saving up for my airfare now. I'm going to fly myself. <laughs> that's good. Sorry. Sorry but, about no, that. <laughs> Regarding the topic, uh, the way I see it, for a person to be your soulmate, he or she has to be your end-all, be-all. The problem we have is that we imprison ourselves with absolutes. We want the end results without beginning to put in the work necessary to get there. So what about when you meet that person and you fall in love with that person and you marry that person and within a few short years that person gets on your last nerve just by waking up? See, what happens when you go to Home Depot where, where, or wherever you meet another person then who reminds you of everything you hate with what you have at home? See, this is nothing more than the grass appearing greener on the other side. This is nothing more than having 80% of what you need at home but chasing after that 20% tail thinking it's going to make you complete. 
But if and when you get that 20%, you run the risk of losing the 80% you got at home. See, you don't meet a soulmate. You become a soulmate after you and your man or woman have put in and dedicated years, decades of time, love, and sacrifice with one another. See, look at our grandparents, those who, who put in 50, 60 years with one another. Those are the definitions and examples of what soulmates are and should be. See, couples of today don't have anything on what our grandparents had to go through, yet the divorce rates get higher and higher. See, your soulmate is the person who either lays your body to its final resting place or waits for you to join them on the other side. Anything less just ain't worth it. Wow. Well, oh. I, the show's H-3. over now. Nothing more to say. <laughs> Nobody can talk Thank about. you so much, H.V.